This call is now being recorded. Yesterday we completed the last exercise, right? I had given in homework. Have you all completed? Yes, yes, sir. And uh, I think that was the last exercise that we did. We have completed the lesson, right? Yes. Yes, sir. It was the last exercise that we did in that lesson. Exercise four. According to the brackets given, we had to change the sentence into the tenses which are given in the bracket, right? Yes. Hmm. What's the last sentence? Like uh, he calls me in the morning. The future continues. He will be calling me in the morning. Yes, sir. Okay, so we completed that um, ten, and after ten, I've I've taken twelve, lesson twelve for your FA three. Uh, Eleven is a bit uh, longer compared to other lessons. It is bigger than this. So we shall first complete lesson twelve. And uh, as tomorrow we don't have lecture, so I have taken grammar today. If I start with English, then we need at least two lectures continuous, uh, two consecutive days. So. We will take grammar in Monday English. Now, lesson twelve adjectives. You know what are adjectives? In this, we are going to study the kinds of adjectives. So, who will read? Sir, may I? Your name. Who is going to read? Almas. Yes, I'm asking. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives answer such questions as what kind, which one, how many. Adjectives can be used to describe color. Adjectives: blue, red, green, brown, purple, yellow, black. Opinion. Example. Good, pretty, right, wrong, funny, light, happy. Size: big, small, long, short. Age: old, young. Shape: round, triangle, rectangular, square, oval. Origin: German, Malaysia. Material: glass, metal. Distance: long, short, near, far. Temperature: cold, warm, hot, cold. Time: late, early. So adjectives. Used for describing all these things: color, opinion, size, age, shape, origin, material, distance, temperature, time. For describing all these things, we need adjectives. And examples are already given, which you just read. So all these words are adjectives. But in which category do they fall? So for that, we need to learn the kinds of adjectives. Do you remember how many kinds of adjectives are there? Do you remember some names? adjectives of quality yes adjectives of quantity adjective of number demonstrative adjectives very good yes read it types of adjectives qualitative disparative adjective quantitative adjective demonstrative Adjective, adjective, possessive, adjective, interrogative, adjective, distributive, adjective, compound, adjective. So here, this compound adjective is not there in your notebook, in your textbook. Sorry, but uh, we'll learn that, so you get extra knowledge for that. But uh, other the, the six are there: quality, quantity, demonstrative, possessive, interrogative, distributive. One is adjective of number. Instead of compound adjective, we have adjective of number. That is the only change. Now, see, for quality, uh, describing quality, we say that it is qualitative adjective. They are also called descriptive adjectives because they are used for describing things, places, people. So they are called qualitative. Read. 
qualitative disparative adjectives to describe the quality of a person or thing or for example its size general description physical age shape color material origin and purpose to examples tall excellent slim young square plastic number 1 the tall girl is my classmate number 2 the students achieved excellent results so uh, these are qualitative adjective see they describe they describe the quality of a person thing uh, the tall girl is my classmate it describes the quality of a girl. results which kind of results did they achieve excellent so they describe the quality in first sentence the quality of the girl in the second one the quality of the result is being described quantitative quantitative adjectives to indicate the number or amount of things examples some much little enough all no any whole se several she found many pens under the table there was no milk in the jug there are 37 students in this class okay so quantity when you want to describe the quantity as the question how much or how many both are there for uncountable nouns we ask how much for countables we ask how many so in the first sentence you see pens countable milk uncountable and third sentence students countable so quantity is quantity is the thing which is used for describing both countable and uncountable nouns both are uh, considered as quantitative adjectives examples are already given on the right hand side in the box that all words are used for describing quantitative adjectives so much little enough all no whole several but it depends whether the noun is countable or uncountable likewise we have to use the word demonstrative adjectives to point out nouns examples this these that those this is my friend dina those are books belong to her demonstrative you have to just remember four words this that these those now you know the difference near and far singular and plural t h i s is singular t h e s e these plural same way that is singular those plural right and near and far also you know हेलो सर यस आपकी स्क्रीन नहीं दिखाई दे रही है मेरे फोन में यू क्लिक समवेयर एल्स ऑन समवेयर एल्सेस नेम एंड देन ऑन माइन अगेन इज माय स्क्रीन विजिबल यस ओके सो दिस that these and those these four are demonstrative they are used for pointing out this is my friend see uh, some boys are standing if i point point out a boy this is my friend those books uh, so many books but if i point out at the pile of books those books just for pointing out to show something interrogative adjectives used with noun to ask questions examples what whose where why how and which whose pen is this which way shall we go interrogatives are very easy wh words are there for asking questions right this i don't have to explain but uh, yes it will come in the beginning of the sentence that will be easy for you to identify whatever question you ask with wh words or interrogative adjectives i don't think uh, here you need much ex much explanation sir can i read possess oh okay wait i think uh, oh miss ba right yes yes if you want to read then i'll give chance because i thought 
some students only want to read others don't so you can read if you are interested possessive adjectives used to show possession example my your his her our their its this is her hat their parents came to my house yesterday possessive right possessive adjectives will show the possession means whom does the thing belong to or whom does that person belong to who is the owner of that thing who is the owner of that is ki cheez hai wo that is what we say that is my pen that is your house this is my hat so your my his our these are all possessive adjectives see this is her hat so hat belongs to her she is the owner of the hat so her it shows the possession whom does the hat belong to her their parents whose parents their parents and came to my house yesterday whose house did they come to my house so house belongs to me so these adjectives which are given in the box this they show the possession the class is theirs like that so theirs that is also possessive distributive adjectives to show that the persons or things are counted collectively normally used with singular nouns refer to members of a group as individuals example each every either and neither each participant was asked to complete a survey either of these movies will be interesting to me so distributive you have to remember these words each either neither or either neither when group of people when you see a group of people but you want to point out at one person at a time for example you all are sitting in the class but i want to i want to give instructions to all of you but one student at a time each one of you should complete your book fair book by tomorrow so as such i am talking to the whole class to all of you but i am referring to each and every student at a time har ek ki baat kar raha hu main that is what is distributive adjective though i told the whole class at a time but i am referring to each one of you that each one of you should complete your fair book by tomorrow so usme sab aa gaye so i referred to one girl at a time and though uh, i talked to the whole class see each participant was asked to complete the survey so there there will be many participants maybe 5 10 20 but each participant had to complete it what happened whose mic is on either of these movies would be interesting to me either of these means you have a choice suppose there are two or three movies so you you speak you say this sentence or either of these movies would be interesting means any one either of these means any one if i if i call out a girl from your class that either of you can read means any one can read at a time sir can i read uh, read reading so what happened i think miss pai is still reading and then i will give chance to others read compound adjectives made up of two more or more words often linked together with hyphens to link the words together to show that it is one adjective example light weight duty free four foot part time cool blooded well behaved we have to be open minded about things the lady is wearing a pair of high heeled shoes 
So compound adjectives are not there in your textbook, but uh, you can learn it when two adjectives are used together. Together, two adjectives are used. They are linked together. See, hyphen is there in between. Lightweight between in between that hyphen you can see it is called hyphen. Duty free, four foot, part time, cold blooded, well behaved. So two two adjectives are used everywhere with hyphen. And it is used as a whole. Lightweight means which has very less weight. We have to be open-minded. So open-minded. These are two adjectives which are used together in a sentence. These type of adjectives are called compound adjectives. Compound means when you join two. That is compound. High yield. So high and yield. These are two different adjectives which are used as a whole to describe the. The height of the shoes, suppose the hills that you already know. So these are compound adjectives which are used together in a sentence. The meaning is single, though words are two. It means one thing. Now wait. Uh, I think uh, first we'll see the textual. See now, uh, lesson twelve adjectives which I already explained. Uh, the types of adjectives will just so in first exercise or that today's day is not gone as without solving an exercise this is just uh, underlining the adjectives adjectives of quality right you know what are adjectives of quality see the sentences are given over here mm. now you both have got the chance the third girl who was there wanted to read. Who is she? Lakhani Zainab. Yes, uh, read it. Read this sentence. The, the tree is full of green leaves. The team need a fast bowler. The bird fl flow away in the blue sky. Grandmother has grey hair. An owl was poor. I sing during I the say. day. I said during the day. The the highly highlight great word describe the qualities of the nouns. They are called adjective and quality. Adjective they answer quality. Adjectives of quality. They answer the question of what kind. Adjectives of quality, they describe the quality of the noun. They describe the quality of a person, place, or thing. This question is keyword of what kind. You have to remember this keyword of what kind. See, first example they have given. The tree is full of green leaves. What kind of leaves? Green leaves. That question you have to ask. The team needs a fast bowler. What kind of bowler does the team need? Fast bowler. The bird flew away in the blue sky. What kind of sky? Blue sky. So when you ask the question of what kind, you will get the answer for adjective of quality. And already I have uh, explained it while showing the slides. So we will underline the adjectives of quality in exercise 1. Underline the adjectives of quality in the sentences. The elephant is a large animal. Large. 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 <clears throat> Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Green. Green. Amazing. 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 
कॉटन 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 ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल एक्सीलेंस इलेम प्रीति प्रीति इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग क्रूरियस 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 in class we would not complete the exercise in one minute but here we can complete right within one minute we completed exercise and sentences so what do you think online is good or class class is good class is good that is because uh, you have been at uh, home for a long time the school chalu ho jayegi fir and then after the like the school will begin you will attend the school for a month or two and then you will again feel that oh it was better that we were at home that is human nature that is psychology you know whatever we don't have we want that right now schools are closed so students now they want they are waiting for the schools to reopen once the school will reopen then after a few days or few months again the students will think oh we oh, are good at home enjoying online classes right sir we want to don't want to school to reopen we just want to meet our friends <laughs> good very uh, straight forward answer you give so you can meet your friends at uh, Your uh, at one of your friends' uh, house. We are from far from each other. Hmm. That is correct. But you can still uh, manage something. School is not the only place. You should be friends even when you don't meet in the school. Even if you don't come to school, you should be in contact. Rain has stopped. So, what should we wear these days? Raincoat or sweaters? We are confused now. Better don't go outside anywhere. How many of you go out every day for some or the other work? Sir, in our street only. Hmm. No, sir. I don't go anywhere. I stay at home on. It is good. And on weekends. Yes. I go good. out at Sunday. I would suggest you that uh, on weekends it's okay if you go out once or twice in a week, but otherwise stay at home. it is that would be my advice complete the sentences with uh, adjectives of quality still adjective of quality in exercise 2 now see the options are given over here 10 10 ten sentences we have so one option should fit only in one blank so before that you read all the sentences so that uh, you will not be confused you should know that which option should fit in which blank so for that you should have read all the blanks just go through it because before that you go through the options so i will just minimize it i don't know if it is visible or not okay you can zoom it if it is not visible but i i have to show all the options and all the blanks together so i have to zoom it out again i will zoom in just go through it then i will zoom in one option one blank the option will not be repeated when you complete reading then you tell me 
Sir, I had completed reading. Okay. Okay. Yes, good order. Order. I have read it. Okay. I have complete reading. Hmm. Okay, see now. Mm. First five. He is a dead man. Handsome. Handsome. Sean has one dash and writing. Creepy. Creepy. No. What is the meaning of creepy? It was. Youth. Creepy is something you like you call it here when you are afraid. Ugly. Ugly. Sparkling. आर्टिकल एन इज गिवन सो आंसर विल स्टार्ट विथ अवेल And the answer is illegible. Do you know the meaning of illegible? No, no, no. <clears throat> the handwriting uh, you don't understand, which are uh, which is not clear. Illegible handwriting. Opposite is legible. So you learned it. The new word. Your handwriting should be legible, clear, understandable. Okay. Illegible is you don't understand it. Okay. And this is common sense. Before the blank, article N is given, so the answer will start with a vowel. You should know that. And there were only two words with vowel. Three actually. Next, the story of the dash duckling is known to all. Ugly, 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 ugly. ugly. Because you know that story. Ugly. Have you heard that story? Yes. Hmm. Not good looking. That is ugly. Draw a dash line before marking the angles. Straight. 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 Yeah, which one? Draw a straight line. Maya had a dash rock climbing competition. Difficult, you difficult, aquatic, difficult, difficult. Aquatic is relating to water. Huge. Difficult, uh, difficult will not uh, fit over here. Yeah? Difficult, you have to write somewhere else. Huge. What? Huge. Hmm. What is the meaning of that word? Very big. What? Very big. Hmm. Meaning okay. of good. Now, see, uh, just remember all the options. I will just uh, scroll down, so options will go away. Till one, I will show. The dash water was refreshing for a bath. Aquatic. 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 Aquatic will not come here. Sparkling. Aquatic is relate relating to water, but aquatic will not. Come. It is not necessary that the word water is given, so you will get aquatic. 
Sparkly. Creepy. Sparkly. Creepy. Creepy is something that causes fear when you are afraid. Sparkly. I have a direct feeling about this place. Creepy. Mm. Creepy. Now it's creepy. Time. When you go to the place which is haunted, then you might feel creepy, might be afraid. Because of the story you know all about that place. My friend had a dash nightmare about ghosts. Scary. 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 The teacher assigned the dash task. Difficult. 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 Then. Aquatic. 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 These are aquatic animals and should not be kept in a cage because they will die. Aquatic animals live only inside the water. So, quickly just, uh, you might have already taken the things or the birds are not taken, they can do it now because if you guys want to do it, you are on the photo. Make it fast. Okay. And, should I change the page? Should I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> sir, dad. Dad? Yes. Yes. The next is to sentence one. Sir, so dad. 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 Yes. So done. So done. Okay. Next time we should uh, learn the details of quantity in detail. Yes, ma'am. Yesterday, uh, I have not mentioned the name, but yesterday one girl sent me English homework. And mm. then I don't know why I suddenly remembered that this is not done recently. Okay. It was it was of some I think must be in the first week of December, you know, first, second, third or somewhere I feel. Fair book. Fair book, you know. And uh, you know they think that uh, we don't uh, take note of, you know. So yeah. she that I will just uh, see that she sent it. I'm not going to go into details and I'll, uh, you know, update her name. I mean, her number. Hmm. Understood. <laughs> but so, uh, still, it will be good and just write a note in the bracket. Even though we to consider it, it will be late. No? Uh, it, it can be late, but then imagine, I think it was around 1st or 2nd December and today is 11th December, right? Mm -hmm. So yesterday she sent, you know, and no, and then uh, when they are sending it yesterday, like they sent it on 10th, I feel that it is today's homework, right? I will take it right, as today's right. homework. And then I had to mention that this is uh, not of, uh, it is of 3rd December, like, you know. Mm -hmm. No, but it will be late information. Huh? So if you feel so, you just, uh, bench, you can just write a note over the bracket late. So we'll come to know. Mm. No, but uh, like I know that yesterday you gave only grammar homework. Yes. Hmm. And then I was wondering what English homework because sometimes I hear you. Sometimes I'm busy with something else over here, no, or some other proxy or something. Right. And I might not uh, know like what you've given. So oh, that is it. You know that once you have sent, ma'am will not look into it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> exactly. Oh, good morning, Supriya. How are you? I'm good. 
How are you, ma'am? I'm good, sir. How is it going there? It's uh, it, right now. It I'm at home. It's raining today, Supriya, ma'am. Oh, oh, oh. Very heavily? Not heavily, but yes, in the morning, early morning, it was heavy. Hmm. Early morning, it was raining cats and dogs. Now it is not. Cats no. and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> बेटा This is where we were, right?